It's Candy Eastman live inside your Houston BMW Center Studios. And today I'm excited to bring on the CEO for Essence, Ms. Caroline Wonga. Hey! Hey, how you doing, Ms. Candy? You all right? I am blessed. Look what I'm wearing. My 25th anniversary Essence t-shirt. with the vintage t-shirt. That might be worth money now. Okay. You know, I think the 25th was the year before everything went virtual. Yes. Because of Corona. So it actually, that's a very significant shirt. Yes. 2019, you guys invited me to cover all the festivities at yes. my first Essence Festival. How so exciting. Funny. That was my first Essence Festival, too. I wasn't working here yet. But mm -hmm. I went with a previous employer. So that was actually my first festival, my first live festival and festival at all, too. So we have, we were in the same place for the first time. Yes, we were virgins together. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and let me tell you, we had the time of our life. I was on Radio Row with uh, uh, several sisters in the uh, broadcast industry, including Tammy yeah. Mack from Fox Soul. AJLS in Los Angeles. Got to send a shout out to my girl Deja Vu. She's on the yeah. Heat series section. Yeah. UPLS. Yeah. Maria Moore from Atlanta. We just had a great time, and I am so looking forward to with the ladies June third through July third. And, and here's 30th. the thing: I, I think Candy, you said something really important that that is definitely a basis for what we're excited about as we go back into this festival, which is there's something that happens when we get together. Mm -hmm. Like you could put the same number of people that wasn't us and yes. it wouldn't be the same celebration. And I think for us communally, that time that we get to be with one another is just a time when we get to celebrate unapologetically and not have to accommodate somebody else. We just get to be blackity, blackity, black, black, black. <laughs> and we don't have to feel guilty about it. I remember sometimes in corporate America, we used to look at our watch like we got 10 more seconds to keep this black conversation going then we need to disperse, right? Like none of that, none of that petty or real disruption happens and we just get to be by ourselves. And I can't, after the last two years, you know, folks got three years worth of outfits, but that got three years worth of gathering in them. And I'm gonna be out there watching it all. Yes, we are going to be in full effect. Um, you got an exciting lineup this year. It kicks off June 30th through July 3rd. Come on and tell us about it. Come, Come on, on tell about us. it. Okay, so first of all, here's what I need everybody to know. And this is really critical to understand. First of all, the festival is never leaving New Orleans. So don't, if anybody tells you that, they lie. We will always be in New Orleans. New Orleans is is in the DNA of this festival. And so the live component of the festival is returning this year. However, what is great about what happened while we were in the pandemic is that we had the capability to transfer the festival virtual, which had 45 million views one year, 65 million views the other. And so the beauty of this festival that no matter how many years you've done gone to festival, Evangeline, Evangeline is my persona of the girl that goes to festival. No matter how many times you've gone to festival, Evangeline, you've never gone when it's been live and virtual. Wow, that's true. The beauty of that is what who gets to gather is infinitely multiplied because we'll have folks together in nola and folks together in the virtual world we've never done that before and so even though it's the largest festival by per day attendance in the nation when we add this virtual component i mean it's just you can't compete with it and that becomes our global family not just our local family so that's the first thing I need people to know so that they understand that they can participate from where they are if they can't come join us in in New Orleans with the other half a million of our cousins. Now let's talk about who's getting on this you know, stage, this this you know, stage that a lot of people are excited about, right? And so we got our girl Nicki Minaj on that Friday night. Well, before I even go to Friday, one of the dopest things is that on Thursday, we have Kevin Hart doing his comedy show. We haven't done a big Thursday night event like that. So that's brand new. Then on Friday, we've got our friend Nicki Minaj headlining, which, which we are really excited about. And a lot of other artists are coming on on that same night, including Mickey Guyton, because, you know, we're taking over country, too, in case you haven't noticed. I got a twang. It's just not <laughs> at the forefront of my ankle, you know, at my tongue. And then on Saturday, we have Janet, Sister Janet, Miss Janet, everything yes. Janet, Icon Janet. Right, so we're gonna be there and trust me, I'm putting together my Rhythm Nation Ensemble now. I ain't gonna be able to do the routine, but I'm gonna be with her in spirit 
And on that night, we're also honoring the fantastic Patty LaBelle, but we'll have Summer Walker and Lucky Day. D Nice is bringing some of his cousins. So that's going to be a super Woo! dope night. And then on Sunday, the Lord's Day, until that night, is we're going to kick it there with our friends in New Edition. I know everybody knows the lyrics. And if you don't learn them, because you can't be in a New Edition uh, uh, audience and not singing the words, that's disrespectful. Don't do that. Right. So get the words down. But they're going to be there with us on um, on Sunday night. And we are excited to have City Girls and WizKid and The Roots and Ghostface Killer and Raekwon and some other people there on that Sunday to be able to go. And then the beautiful thing is both in our After Darks, which will continue to have representation from different genres to keep the party going. We also it's the Essence Festival of Culture. It's not just the Essence Festival of Music. Yes. And so the beauty of that is that we are not just about having a good time, though nobody does it like us. We are also about continuing to return blackness to greatness. And so when we think about all of the other things that surround a festival like you never have before, there are some things returning that people are familiar with, right? Wellness House is something we had launched. We will continue our Girls United Day of Service. We will continue to ensure that media role where you was kicking it, right? All of those things will be there, but there's some super dope, dope new experiences that we'll be adding this year. Highlight a few of those are the Food and Wine Festival. So you will experience the Essence Eats Food and Wine Festival, libation and things to put in our stomach, which is fantastic because that means we can celebrate a little bit longer, but featuring melanated black businesses, both on the on the wine and spirit side and on the food side that will be able to keep us nourished. We're bringing a tech summit in. So we're going to lean into this meta, meta situation and make sure that we're playing our role in how blackness can play a role there. We're bringing a men's experience called In His Zone because we know that men come to the festival, but we want you to have yeah. some unique experiences as well. So come on, brothers, and come <laughs> in there and enjoy In His Zone, right? As, as well as everything else, we've got a marketplace that we're taking to the virtual realm, uh, which we're really excited about the marketplace and how that comes to the virtual realm. And then we're keeping Get Lifted, but we're adding the film festival. We have the Wealth and Power stage featuring the Global Black Economic Forum, which is the Black equivalent of Davos, but I call it Blavos because I just don't like to have words that make sense in my vocabulary. I have to make up words. And then we will continue to be embedded in the community. We will continue to be embedded in the New Orleans community and have some activities happening there. And so here's the thing, right? Like we we are back together. We are back outside. We have the opportunity to gather once again. We will be as unapologetically Black as we've always been. We will believe that we are the CEOs of culture and continue to drive that. But what I'm most excited about is just the energy and transfer of joy that happens when we're able to be there. Hence. Our, our theme for this year, which is, it's the black joy for me. Okay. <laughs> and I got to tell you, sis, you have transferred that energy and joy to me. The only candy mom wants you to have. Candy I love. I you love. Know what? A little trivia question for you. Now. See this, see this, see this <laughs> setup right here. Let me get my multiple choice answers together. Okay, okay come on. What artist has had the most appearances? At the essence. I know. Yeah. Ah, that's yeah. not fair. Candy, yeah. you know what? Jesus. <laughs> because they've had a gospel. <laughs> they've had a gospel show every year. So I would say Jesus. Oh, I heard it was Mary J. Blige. Her too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sister Mary's been there. But you know, here's the thing, right? What I love about the festival is that no matter who comes, you were there and you performed. Candy, you performed the festival of the year. You went, I performed the festival of the year. I went because performing ain't got nothing to do with that stage. It mm -hmm. has everything to do with what you get to do with your black family. And we're excited to have that. Of course, Mary J may have been the most consistent and have been the most present, but we know that all of us have been there all this time. And we we love Sister Mary. We're continuing to see her do great things. Even you saw our friend Janet honor her at the Billboard Awards. And so we're excited to have that be with us too. So do you have any information on vendors or special packages? Do you yes. have any information on the events? So I need everybody to, in Houston to listen really clearly. Everything you need to know <laughs> is at EssenceFestival.com. Everything you need, you to, need know to know is at yeah. EssenceFestival.com. Essence vendors, tickets, performances, explanations, pictures, whatever, essencefestival.com. Now, Miss Candy, I'm going to be honest with you about something. 
What I'm not going to deal with is when people are mad that they don't have nowhere to sleep. That's not my doggone fault. Because if you okay. can't book your hotel, you sleeping outside and just be safe. Right. Because if you don't have a plane ticket and you don't have a hotel ticket, that you're not going to find on EssenceFestival.com. That, okay. That's on you. Now, if you got a cute little RV and you're just going to be out here looking cute outside, more power to you. It ain't my fault if you don't have a hotel and a flight if you ain't booked it by now. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> It has been such a joy to have you inside this space. My sister, uh, CEO of Essence, Caroline Wanga. Is there anything you'd like uh, Magic listeners and folks tuned in to, to know? Here's what, I would like, here, here's what I would like us to know. And, you know, it's not lost on me, Candy, that you and I are having this conversation after another tragic event in Buffalo that is targeted at killing and ruining the li livelihood of Black people and what happened in Buffalo and has continued to happen to us. Please know that we each need to take care of ourselves in those moments. Do what you need to do to be healthy. Know that the feelings that you're having are appropriate. Just manage through them in a healthy manner. But what I will not tolerate, and this is my last word per what you said, is we can exist. We can exist at the intersection of joy and justice. We don't have to choose. So while I know we're going through a lot, we're processing another place where nobody seems to care about black lives. We're watching a racist society continue to drive forward, targeting folks that are not of a majority group. But what I want us to know is we can be sad about that. We can process that. We can push for action on that. But what we don't need to allow that to do is take our joy away. And so please continue to pursue justice and whatever that means to you, but do not compromise your joy. And if you're missing a place to find some joy, I'm inviting you to New Orleans, June 30th through July 3rd to come get you some from some of all these half a million people that will be down here. And to the black community, we stand with you. We are equally processing what has happened, but we also are unapologetic about the fact that we celebrate who we are, how we are. And in light of what's happening with black right now, I think we need to do it a little harder than normal. Amen, amen, amen. Bow down, bow down. <laughs> Joanna said, ain't I a woman? Yes. So there you go. God bless you, sis. I'll see you June 30th through July 3rd in New Orleans. In New Orleans. All right, I'll talk to you later, Houston. Bye, Before everyone. you go, yes, is, it New, is it New Orleans or New Orleans? This is the second time in this interview you have tried to get me in trouble, right? So let me just give you my answer. It's NOLA. I love it. They ain't gonna come to me because I said it wrong. You ain't gonna get me in trouble with Mayor Latoya Cantrell. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sister Candy. We look forward to seeing you in NOLA. June 30th through July 3rd, you can live at the intersection of joy and justice. Don't let justice take your joy. Good night. Bye, everyone. Bye bye. <laughs>